What's going on guys? Brandon Charleston here coming at you with another quick video. Uh, in this video, it'll be quick, short, sweet to the point. I just wanted to make a quick video just to kind of show my thoughts on the new Think tool that Anthropic has recently dropped yesterday. So as all things, there's uh, always something new coming out. And so just keeping up with the times and even how to use it uh, in real world situations is the goal here of bringing it to everyday Joe and Jane kind of scenarios, right? So with the think tool um basically you know it was just published on march 20th which as as, this, as of this recording was just a couple of days ago um, but from my understanding of this tool think of it like an extension of your brain right so a lot of times when you're trying to navigate through complex situations it could be a policy or a compliance um, or any sort of maybe even a project that you're coding on where you're just running through loops and not getting anywhere and you just really need to have an additional thinking power right so that's what this tool is at least from my understanding and from my initial test um, basically they have had uh, a number of I'm not gonna you know read this to you or anything like that you can obviously check it out for yourself uh, but based on performance benchmarks they've been able to basically um, coincide the think tool uh, with a prompt in order to revise a prompt or make sure that the thought process or reasoning is uh, aligned with what your desired output is, right? And so there's um, some bench tests here. So think of it like their use case here when it comes to like, you know, doing like an airline uh, in terms of compliance with uh, booking an airfare or something like that, right? And so um, some things that uh, I've also done here is uh, implemented into the Claude app. And so you can see here, I'm up to uh, 72 tools. Now I'm not trying to just increase that, but uh, you know, naturally there's just a lot of tools that are available, which are great, right? And so in my previous video, I talked about how we can add those different tools that are very practical, such as Brave Search, uh, Firecrawl to scrape websites all within you know, Claude. Uh, you can navigate with Notion and uh, add and edit and all these things. But uh, keeping it focused, um, basically you have, if I scroll down appropriately here, uh, is the ability to use the Think tool now, right? And so the Think tool has a number of different tools within Thinking Power, right? So it has uh, the ability to think, which basically records a thought of uh, your processing complex uh, and all those things. And then it gets thoughts, starts to reason with it, like, hmm, let me think about it kind of thing. And then clear thoughts, it clears the record to obviously make sure like, okay, I'm done, things like that to start fresh. And then finally to get statistics and really kind of reason uh, with the the, the way the tokenization and the, the prompt is going through when it comes to reasoning. And so you might ask, well, we have, you know, Claude 3.7 um, extended or, you know, the thinking one, uh, that kind of thing. And yeah, you'd be right. But uh, they actually found sometimes even a better benchmark here. Where was it in terms of being able to uh, just have a lot more, you know, extended thinking or think. So you can clearly see uh, the benchmarks, the benchmarks here are a bit more um, improved, right? And so, if you were to so much as use it in, you know, inside your Claude app, um, you know, basically it, it defines to where you would be able to actually use additional thinking power. So, in some instances, you might actually need to use this, or you may not think you might need to use it. But let's say you're trying to navigate a really hard scenario. It could be reading through a document that's really, really complex. Um, it could be compliance. It could be a business use case uh, that's vital to your task, right? It could be coding. Uh, could be a number of different things. And so this is basically a second brain for your AI agents. Uh, another use case is, you know, with these MCP servers and all these tools that we're implement, implementing into uh, AI agents, sometimes it's going to be like, I have so many tools, I don't even know where to begin, right? So the thinking tool could be a good use case to actually know. Let's take a look here of what tools I have available to me and let's actually think about it before I actually do a task, right? And as we're adding more MCP servers, which is basically like a toolbox of tools, right? They're packaged um, services and packaged tools, basically API endpoints or commands uh, that you can actually do within a certain uh, task. And so, and then of course with good old cursor, um, I've added it uh, to cursor as well. And so you could see uh, based on, you know, just to make sure my API tokens don't uh, show and just, you know, so I don't blur them out. Uh, basically I have added it. Um, and then there is a, 
uh, X user or GitHub. Um, he is Dan Mack. Um, I just noticed this this morning, but he's been able to add this as an MCP server. And so you can easily uh, go to his repo here, which I'll have it in the link in the comments. And then pretty swift, pretty straightforward. Um, so I just installed it in a virtual environment on my machine. So that way it's dedicated uh, to what it is and not conflicting with any sort of other projects or libraries that I have installed. And so you can do that. I mean, I basically had Cursor Agent just do it for me. And so it was done. And then what I'll do is uh, you see Claude desktop app right there. So you can add that automatically to your desktop configuration. So that way when you restart Claude, the tools are going to be added in there. And then of course uh, your mcp.json, uh, which this is the JSON file, the configuration file for your cursor in terms of being able to add it as an MCP server. So that way you can actually use the think tool inside your cursor agent. I know that was a word salad sandwich, a word salad. Uh, hopefully that made sense. Essentially, you're giving cursor the ability to think with an additional tool, right? And then what I did too, and I'll put this uh, in the comments as well, is um, Claude think tool usage. You'll definitely want to put that in your cursor rules. So that way as a system prompt, it's going to know like, huh, I have this tool available to me maybe I should think about using it, right? And so that way uh, you'll be able to know, it'll call the tool when you're trying to vibe code and all these other things of maybe, you know, navigate through um, some sort of bottleneck or so, so, some sort of friction that you're getting uh, when you're arguing with an AI model, right? Because that's a real thing. <laughs> so, um, and then lastly, this is not, um, you know, in terms of MCP and, and think tools and things like that. But one other thing I did implement as well, and I can uh, share a lot more about it, um, is it's kind of nice because when you're vibe coding and it's thinking and it's calling all these tools and you're basically like, cool, you're, you're coding, you know, that's how you're able to, like, for example, you know, revamp a website in less than a day, uh, be able to build, you know, multi uh, systems, uh, basically on autopilot or YOLO mode, um, where you could, have something do a task and, and then you can do other things and it's sitting there running and then, you know, I'll tend to my kids or make lunch or something like that. Um, this will basically ring uh, or play an MP3 like a ding, uh, like your text message or whatever when the agent's done. So that way, you know, when I know the task is done or it needs my attention, uh, it'll ding that. So that's just another use case of an MCP server is basically just to ring a sound uh, anytime it's done. And you can see that right here in my cloud app where it says, okay, I'm done, play completion sound. Every single time it's done with a prompt because a lot of times when you're calling these servers, it's gonna start running through a task. It's not just one-to-one -one kind of thing. And so that's just another great use case of using things like MCP servers is it's be, being able to call a tool and very easily you know, interact with you in a much more uh, natural way <laughs> with all this technical stuff. And so uh, anyway, that's it for me. I just wanted to push a quick video on the new Think tool. Um, I definitely think you should check it out because uh, it adds more thinking power uh, to your agentic workflows and, you know, knowledge is obviously power. And so uh, if you have more thinking abilities, well then, why not play with it, right? Thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.